Hello, this is Bashar. In this tutorial, we are going to externalize our configuration so that we can use same code for different environments. For this tutorial, I'm going to use one of my previous tutorial, which was for sending email from Spring Boot application. And in this repository, we have the, the code right here. The main was the initial project structure and we built the final send email in the tutorial for the Spring email. And now in this tutorial, we are going to see how we can extract the configuration and you can find the final version of this tutorial here in this final dash ext dash config branch. I have already cloned this repository and it is opened right here in the Visual Studio code. Here, the selected branch is this one, final send mail. And again, we are going to do our implementation on top of this one. Let's go over the project structure. Here in the pomxml, the Spring Boot version is 2.4. Running the Java version 11, we have this mail dependency, web dependency, and the others are for the development tools. And if we check the source here, this is the main class. We have this mail configuration. Here we are creating a Java mail sender with the, this host, this port, and this username. And we are using this mail sender right here in the email controller. And whenever we send a request to this endpoint, we are sending this message. Now we are going to move this configuration out of the code. And with this way, we will be able to change the, this configuration for different working environments. So let's start with the first approach. Let's, let's make this host part configurable. And for that one, we can have a variable right here. Let's call this one as mail host. And we can ask Spring to inject this value with this value annotation. And this is looking for the key for the value. And we type the key like this in double quotes and dollar sign and in curly braces. We give our key right here. And let's say this is going to be mail.host. Now we can set this value in our application properties right here. So we can say mail host to be Let's use the same configuration, SMTP Ethereal mail. So this key has this value and we are asking Spring to inject that value to here so that we can use this mail host like this. Now we are going to test this one. So just removing this debug line and I'm going to log into my Ethereal email account. Just opening the, the Ethereal right here. Here, logging in. This is the username. And this is the password. These were the previous mails I sent. We will be receiving the mails right here. So we changed our configuration. Now the mail host value is coming from the application properties. Let's save all these changes and start our application. Now the application is initialized, opening the browser and sending a request to localhost 8080 test endpoint. And here we are receiving this done. And this is triggering the mail to be sent. Let's see that controller right here. So this is the endpoint. This is generating this email and this sending this email via this Java mail sender. And we can see that mail is received right here. Let's refresh this page. Here, this one, this is the last one. We received this message. And that's how we can extract the configuration, configurable part from our 
code to like a place like this properties file. We can also set default values for the mail host. So uh, in cases like, let's say, let's clear this part, just cutting this SMTP email and saving this one, just remove the, the properties. And in this case, when the application is restarted, here we are seeing this exception because this configuration is looking for a value for this key. And since there is no such key, it is failing to make the application work for these kind of situations. We can assign default values right here. So after the key mail host, we can use colon and we can set the default value like this. And for instance, let's go with the SMTP Ethereal email once again, saving it. Again, the application is restarted. And if we go back to the browser and refresh here. Again, this is returning the done back. And if I check right here, here we have another message dropped to the mailbox. We can repeat the same steps for the other properties like the, the username, password, the port or the configuration values we have here. But this value injection can be hard to manage. So instead of this one, we can create our own custom property objects. So let's create a new class right here. Let's call this one as app configuration. And let's say we want to have the host name. Let's say this is just host and we want the port. So this class is going to be containing all the values and instead of having this fields like this, we will be gathering all the configurations in this class and we will be injecting this class to the mail configuration and we will use that. But first we will be using a couple of annotations here. First of all, this is these fields needs setter and gather. So we are going to use the data annotation. And the second one is this is a representation of the properties. So we will use configuration properties annotation. And the last one is this must be a bean. This class must be a bean. Someone must be initializing this one. Uh, so for that one, we can use the component so that Spring will be automatically creating an instance from this class. And when it is going to be initializing this one, it's going to be filling these fields because of the configuration properties annotation. These fields will be filled based on the values we are going to set in the application properties. So let's save this one and let's set the values for the, the these fields. We will just use the field name. So let's say the host is going to be SMTP ethereal dot email and let's say the port is going to be 587. So Spring will be automatically binding these values, this host and the port values to these fields in the app configuration and in the mail configuration. Now we don't need this value. We will use app configuration right here. And this is going to be injected. So we will use a toward annotation. And for this host, we can get the app configuration, get host. And the port can be app configuration, get port. So saving this one. By the way, the DevTools is automatically restarting the application, but you may be seeing failures in this scenario. These properties are not properly working in the, the DevTools condition. Let's try this one. First here, sending a request once again. Here, as you can see, this is returning a fail response. And uh, we can resolve this by 
stopping the application right here and start it once again but it is saying there's an error this is happening because of the vs code environment so i'm just aborting this one instead of this one we can run our application uh, via the spring boot maven plugin so here in the console clearing this one and going into the project folder where the pom file is now running maven spring boot run if you don't have maven in your uh, environment path you can use the, the mvnw which is located in this current directory let's run with this way so this is running the application and here it, the application is up and running let's go back to our browser refreshing the page and here we are receiving this success response and if we check the mails right here we have a new one in this mailbox so with this way we are using this app configuration which is taking the values these host and port values from the application properties now just like setting values setting default values for the value annotation we can set the defaults to these fields like the smtp ethereal email and for the port we can set it is 587 so then we don't need to set the the values right here and there's one more thing we can also uh, set a prefix for our properties so we can say this properties this this host the port is going to be having a prefix of let's say this is going to be mail so in the properties file we can set mail.host or mail.port so this prefix properties is going to be assigned to the values in this class so saving all these changes the application is automatically restarted going back to browser sending one more request it is done and if we refresh right here there is one more message in the mailbox now from our mail configuration point of view the configuration values are coming from this class and this class fields can be set via the application properties other than the application properties we can also overwrite the values via the the command line arguments so let's kill this application now when running the application like this maven spring boot run we can pass the the command line arguments like this dash d and the property name is spring dash boot dot run dot arguments equals to and now we can pass our own arguments and for instance we can set the mail host like this double dash mail dot host to be let's set it to localhost this is going to be uh, we will see the effect of it the localhost is going to fail so let's run the application like this now the application is running and if i refresh this page we must be receiving an exception because it is trying to send the mail to the localhost and in localhost in my machine i don't have an smtp server running so that's why it's failing so the the configuration is working and the other way uh, to set the configuration is if we build our application like this let's build this one again running maven w and the command is the package so this is going to be building the application and it's going to be generating a jar file now if we go to the directory target we will see this this jar file and if we run java dash jar email this snapshot jar and when running like this we can overwrite the the mail host like this 
This time the, the parameter is shorter. We will just pass two dashes, then our key mail.host and the value localhost. So application is initializing and going back to browser, refreshing this one. And here we are receiving an error. So that's how we can extract the configuration from our application. And we can run the same code for different environments. That's all for this tutorial. Thanks for watching and hope to see you in the next tutorials.